Hey there everyone, thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for watching. This video is one of these videos where I completely skip on recording an intro. This video will be very functional and we, I will of course try to keep it as short as possible. Now, we are going to talk about pie hole, but we're going to do it on a slightly different level. So, on to this video, we must run on the assumption that you already know what pie hole is and that you already have a pie hole instance already up and running and serving you. Pie hole, in a nutshell, is an open source tool that can uh, benefit you in filtering out ads from your local network. Pie hole can be installed on a Raspberry Pi. In fact, this was the initial intent, hence its name. I'm running my Pi hole instance as a Docker on my Synology device. And if you own a Synology device and you don't already use Pi hole, then you're just a few clicks away from utilizing Pi hole. In fact, there is a wonderful video and a written article made by my, my friend Frank from Wundertech. I will, of course, provide links to the video and to the article in the description of this video. But now that we know what pie hole is and we already have a pie hole running and filtering out ads for us, what is there to stop us to make pie hole block more than just ads? In fact, nothing. Pie hole under the hood uses DNS filtering, meaning it has a list of known ad providers and every DNS request that encounters these ad providers, it filters out, it blocks them. So all we have to do is to somehow find a way to introduce more lists, more hosts for Pi-hole to block. But this doesn't come without a price. The more ads, the more lists, sorry, you add to Pi-hole, the more likely you will encounter what is known as false positives. So I will, of course, show you how to best deal with them. So keep watching. Don't, don't quit this video after the portion of adding lists to Pi-hole. Keep on watching because I will show you how to best deal with a false positive that you probably will encounter. All right, guys. So this is my test Pi-hole instance. I've shut down my regular Pi-hole and I've uh, uh, powered on this uh, Pi-hole. And now this is the Pi-hole that's actually serving my network. As you can see right from the bat, I have about 1,300,000 and, and, and change on my, on my block list. When you install Pi-hole, by default you get, I don't know, 20,000, 18,000, I don't even remember. I've already added a few lists and I've got to this over a million number of blocks. And I also encountered false positives that I will of course show you towards the end of the video how to deal with them. So how do we go about adding lists to our pie hole to start blocking? Simple, just open up a new Google tab and search for pie hole lists. The first result should be this one. Towards the bottom, you're of course welcome to read everything they say here is, is, is gold, but towards the a lower section of this, of this article, there is the view block lists here. And this takes you to the uh, Firebug main, I don't know, lists repository. Now, be careful. Some of these lists are marked in green. This means that they are verified and some of them are not, meaning they uh, probably will contain more, uh, uh, will cause more uh, uh, false positives. But in this repository, you can see suspicious lists, more ad lists, tracking and telemetry lists, malicious lists. So as you can see, now we are starting, we can start to utilize our pie hole more than just an ad filter. This is why I said we are going to talk about pie hole, but on a slightly different level. So let's say we are interested in the malicious lists right here. All we need to do is to pick out a list, right click on it and click on copy link. Let's head back over to our pie hole and click on group management tab right here and add lists. Now all you have to do is to paste the URL that you just copied. You can of course give it a comment if you want to somehow identify this list. I think I've already added it so uh, when I'll click on add I will get a, a, yellow, uh, a yellow error. Let's see. 
that's yes this list is already added in mine but you will get a, a, a green message box saying that a list was added and you can add a lot of lists down here as you can see i have a few pages of lists added already to my pie hole so just go back to the list repository right click copy and paste to your pie hole and then after you've added the lists don't do it after every list you add finish adding up all your lists and then go to tools update gravity and click on update now according to the amount of lists you have added and the amount of data on each list this can take i don't know anywhere from one minute to five minutes to ten minutes it can take time don't navigate away from this page don't close this don't close this page even if you think it's stuck it's not you will just need to uh, wait patiently and this is exactly what we are going to do right now i didn't even even had uh, the chance to pause the video that's of course because the lists have already been added into mine uh, into my pie hole but in the background what it does pie hole uh, touches base with all the urls that you have uh, added into it and begins to pull down all the data from the lists so it didn't take didn't take time because most of the data was already on my pie hole for you it might take time just wait patiently all right so now that the update is finished all the data is now uh, being being fetched to the pie hole when you go to the dashboard now you will see a much larger number here than you might have seen initially so as i said this doesn't come without a price because if you have especially if you added uh, uh, lists from these blue sections right here these lists are like let's say a, a, a beta version of a software it might include really valuable things to block but it might also cause more false positives but even if you didn't touch any of the blue lists and you only stick with the green lists which i strongly recommend that you do you might still encounter a lot of false positives so what you will do in order to uh, mitigate false positives again your mileage may vary depending on the um, on the uh, on how many lists you have added into pihole you might have to do it maybe once or twice or maybe every other website or service will start being blocked for you so keep in mind this higher level of protection will come probably with more work for you to do in order to filter out the real a legitimate services so let's go for just as as an example let's go into speed test and as you can see speed tests of course loads without any of the ads that usually come with it but let's say we wanted to go into speed test and the site just won't load what are we going to do then the first thing that I want, that I uh, recommend that you do, if you have the option, just shut down Pihole. Uh, if, if it's a Docker image, just uh, uh, um, shut down the Docker. And if it's on a Raspberry Pi, you can easily, uh, in tools, I think it's in tools or settings, ah, uh, sorry, disable. You can disable for, let's say, for 30 seconds. Now that it's disabled for 30 seconds, go back to speed test and try to see if the site now loads now if this was uh, uh, something that was really uh, 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 blocked by your pie hole suddenly the site should load just fine as usual then you know at this point you will know it's really the pie hole that is causing your uh, uh, blocking issue so let's go back to pie hole again we've just finished uh, the temporary disablement of pihole and we'll go to query log now let's go back to speed test and as you can see speed test now loads without the ads so this must mean we will see some sort of a red uh, red lines here and this is uh, represent this represents for us something that a uh, pihole has identified and blocked sometimes it will be easy because 
for, uh, just as an example, if somehow a, 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 a Skype or Teams stopped working for you, you will probably see some sort of a server name that is, I don't know, skype.microsoft.com or skype.akamai.something, something that you can really identify really easily. So what you have to do then is just add it to the whitelist. And from this point forward, this server will not be blocked by Pi-hole. It becomes more, let's say, more complicated when a service uses more than just one server in order to get the service up and running to you. And so you might see a whole list of servers being blocked. Of course, you will need to work, let's say, systematically uh, whitelisting the, the servers that the names you probably can identify and there is of course another a, a, a remediation step that you can take before even you encounter such problems or let's say just to use as another layer of uh, avoiding as much as false positives you go to the whitelist on your pie hole and start typing domains that are let's say a, 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 you know that are legitimate. For example, just from the top of my head, Lenovo.com, add it as a wildcard domain and add to whitelist. And from now on, anything that the pie hole identifies with Lenovo.com or some sort of a sub uh, domain dot Lenovo.com and uh, things that uh, uh, probably will be added after the .com, for example, slash something, will not be blocked by Pi-hole. So this is the sort of a delicate balance you will need to do when you're adding more lists to Pi-hole and dealing with false positives that, my, that they might encounter. Keep in mind, Pi-hole and the lists are all open source. They're all volunteer jobs. They're not like DNS filtering, a managed DNS filtering service like uh, FortiGate or Microsoft or uh, Palo Alto that have teams of people really refining, adding and, sub and, subtra and subtracting things from the lists. This is something that uh, is all community managed and uh, with a higher level of protection you will need on your own to filter out if something gets blocked for you. So this is the, this is the balance. I hope this video was informative for you. I definitely do recommend that you do go ahead and add lists to your pie hole, stick to the green ones, but keep in mind that you might have to uh, sit 30 minutes, 45 minutes of your time to start filtering out uh, false positives. Thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you all on the next one. Thanks guys.